everybody, Jay Mannion. I am here at the MPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh. I'm here for the very first time, the reigning, defending, Olympia physique overall champion. Brandon Hendrickson, big waves. <laughs> All right, making big waves for sure, That's man. That's right, man. <laughs> All right. Feels good to be here, honestly. Yeah, now this has been, what, three years in the making, basically? Yeah, we've been trying to get me here for a long time, but uh, like you said, man, now nothing comes before it's time, and when I actually came back as, as the champion, so this is great. Yeah. Good opportunity. All right, so before we get into competition and stuff, yeah. uh, I have to say it was fun to watch him walk through the door into the gym. Yeah. Tell people what, what you were thinking. Well, even before coming, you, you kind of told me some, a lot of stories back in the day of, how the gym started so coming here I was kind of prepared to just see something magical and you left me <laughs> surprised I was just uh, overwhelmed well I felt, as soon as I walked in the door I felt the history in this building so uh, just, just a huge blessing and opportunity to be here as the reigning and defending champion yeah well the one the other thing was he was surprised at how big it is because you only see little pieces of it yeah, here and there I'm so used to seeing it on my phone so to actually see it in person it was like huge yeah, <laughs> and then you got the bonus of having the press show up. Press showed up, Tyler showed up, we had you filming, this is just crazy. Yeah, so, <laughs> and then we had, we had some fun with uh, George Peterson. Yeah, yeah, me and George uh, switched roles. Um, I, before coming here, I had thoughts of switching the classic physique division at one point in time, but I was immediately humbled by George Peterson. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm gonna stay in men's physique, get a couple more titles, and then we'll start transitioning. <laughs> All right, so, you know, you, you, this is your fifth Olympia. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And tell people that might not know, your first Olympia, where did you place? Yeah, um, actually, uh, so I qualified in 2015 at the Tampa Pro. Uh, my very first Olympia was uh, 2015. I actually placed fifth in my first, my debut, um, which requalified me for the next year, 2016. 2016, I won the Arnold Classic, came back to the Olympia, got fourth place. And then 2017 got third place and 2018 champion. So it was, uh, it was quite a journey, but uh, it was all worth it because now I'm current champion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it shows hard work, yeah. persistence. Consistency. Yeah. Every right? single day. I, I don't know if you know this. I haven't been on vacation since I started bodybuilding. That's how consistent I've been I understand in this that. sport. So I, I, I dedicated my whole life to this sport. It's changed my life. So. So a lot of people might not know a little bit of your background, so give some people background of you know, where you came from, what yeah. you did, how you got into this, everything else. Okay? Yeah, um, my family's originally from Trinidad and Tobago, so I was first generation um, here, born in Chicago. Um, went to school at SIU, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale, got a degree in healthcare management, was working at a hospital as a hospitality manager, uh, which is kind of where I started learning about, which was the first year actually of uh, men's physique started. Um, so I started going to the gym. Honestly though, the reason I really started was because I was getting made fun of. I was a skinny kid with abs, but you know, I was skinny getting made fun of and just got tired of it. So I, and, that, and I've seen those pictures. You posted them <laughs> online. Yeah. That, that show like, you know, different things. Where yeah. You, where, where you started. Yeah. My transformation was crazy. You know, I was like, like I said, a skinny kid getting made fun of, not fitting my clothes. I didn't have the confidence. Just got in the gym and saw the started uh, the diet and the training and, and started seeing the, um, the the results from it and the results became addicting and I just kept going. Did my first show in 2012 at the Chicago Pro-Am, uh, Wings of Strength, and I placed second and immediately I knew I had something in the sport. Yeah, so, so going to your Olympia journey, um, you sometimes seem to be a lightning rod <laughs> for other competitors. Yeah. What is that about? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a very peaceful guy, you know. I just want, I just come here to do my work. Maybe I'm a threat. I mean, I'm somewhat a threat to, to some people, which is not a bad thing. You know, I like I like the pressure. Pressure makes me better. And um, you know, it's been like that. Coming up in the game, I've honestly been the underdog. I've always been doubted. I've always been said that I couldn't do this, couldn't do that. But that pressure and that doubt it was actually fuel to my fire. So now we're here as a champ. Yeah, and uh, I know that people have seen online. You know, I've seen it and everything. Mm -hmm. There seemed to be some friction with you and Jeremy Buendia, mm -hmm. but I mean, what I saw backstage yeah. at the Olympia last year yeah. is you two seem pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, we were cool. Um, you know, it wasn't I, made out like 
everybody made it out to me on social media. Well, you know? it's I, it's natural to you know we're both competitive. We're competing against each other. He knows I'm on his tail. I know that I have the potential of being a champion. So it was only natural that we kind of just bumped heads a little bit. But um, but I thought it was really cool whenever you know you got the title. He was like one of the first guys right on the stage. Oh, he was right there. We have a lot yeah. of pictures. Uh, he came up to me, put his head on my head. I was like crying <laughs> but uh he told me he's like you know you have a big you have a lot of uh weight on your shoulders now and um he's like you're the perfect person to do this to have this position so good luck and uh he wished me luck invited me to his pool party the next day we partied uh, on sunday and yeah. you know the rest is history so yeah so don't believe everything you see on social media kids no <laughs> right <laughs> no, 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 no. social media is all for hype which i understand right and it, it does help build up the hype for the show but it's not necessarily all what that is, you know. It's more positivity than anything because right. he's actually pushing me to become better. Right. And I know I'm pushing all these other guys to become better. So it's just natural that we get into that energy. <laughs> okay, so do you have a different mindset now going in as the defending champion? Uh, I'm just hungrier. I'm hungrier because getting the first one, you know, everyone's going to say, oh, you were, you were good on that day. But now I have to prove that I wasn't just good on that day. I can be good on any stage at any time. So that pressure, like I said, pressure makes diamonds. And I love it. I feast off it. You know, I, I, it pushes me and motivates me every single day. Now waking up as a champion, I wake up looking at the Olympia Cup in my living room. Like, what more motivation is that? Right. I can look at that cup and realize if, as long as I can, am consistent, I put in that hard work and that dedication, anything is possible. So. Let's get another one. Yeah. All right. So do you want to give a shout out to anybody here? You know, thanks. Yeah. Anything. Shout out to NPC, the whole Manion family, NPC IFBB, for giving me this opportunity. Like I said, this sport has changed my life. You know, I went from having no car, no job to traveling the world and getting love from all over the world. Um, so thank you guys, um, Manny family, for this opportunity. Big shout out to my sponsors, Dark Sport, B Sports, Chic Sports, Muscle Leg. E Clean Chicago, um, my coach, Mandis Buckle, and Underground Athletes, and all of the Wave, Big Wave Army all over the world. Thank you guys for your support throughout the years. We're just getting started. All right, well, we will see you at the Olympia, and your first chance to see him will be at Meet the Olympians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet the Olympians is uh, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday at night. 7 p.m. Yeah. Yep, yep. So uh, I'll have some Big Wave socks you can purchase. <laughs> but um, if you guys look for me on social media, you can find me at, at Brandon Flex, two X's. Um, and then on Facebook at Brandon Hendrickson, IFBB Pro. Good. All right. Well, J.M. Mannion. Brandon Hendrickson. We will see you at the Olympia.